How do refugees find their way to the United States? We use the programs run by Lutheran Social Services of the National Capital Area as an example of the process. A refugee is a person who is outside of his or her country of nationality or habitual residence, who has a well-founded fear of persecution because of his or her race, religion, nationality, or membership of a particular social group or political opinion, and who is unable or unwilling to avail themselves of the protection of that country or to return there for fear of persecution. About 70,000 refugees come to the U.S. every year, which is about 10% of total immigration. Where they come from depends on world events year to year. By the time someone arrives here in the U.S., they've suffered in their own country and possibly been stuck waiting, either in a refugee camp or not, for a long time. Sometimes they wait without access to the basic necessities of life. The overall resettlement process falls into three basic stages. What happens while the refugees are still overseas, the process of arriving in the United States, and helping them create new lives in America. The refugee has to get pretty lucky before the process even starts, since less than 1% of refugees are referred by the UN for resettlement in a new country. Refugees are only settled in a more distant country like the U.S. when they can't be sent home or resettled in a neighboring country. The U.S. does take 60% of those refugees who do resettle in another country. Once a refugee registers with the U.N. and resettlement is approved, there are four basic steps the refugee has to move through before they come to America. First, referral to the U.S. Just because a refugee is resettled to a third country doesn't mean they'll end up in America. Second, a decision by the government that the refugee qualifies for resettlement under U.S. law. The U.S. uses its own definition, which isn't entirely the same as the U.N. one. Third, matching with a resettlement agency like LSS. The agency has to assure the government that they are prepared to receive the refugee client. The U.S. government is very concerned with making sure that refugees will not be an undue burden on American society. This is why it attaches these requirements to immigration paperwork. Fourth, a medical examination to ensure that the refugee doesn't have any serious medical conditions which might pose a public health risk. Fifth, a security clearance to ensure that the refugee isn't an identified security risk, usually by checking their name against a terrorist database. Sometimes a more thorough investigation is required. And sixth, a cultural orientation so that refugees know what to expect in America. It is surprising how much they learn about America from popular culture, which may give them weird ideas about this country. When refugees arrive, they may have family in the area, but they're largely dependent on LSS while they take the first steps towards a new life. LSS meets refugees at the airport, and make sure that they get their first warm meal in the U.S. It's a good idea to wait a bit before introducing them to American food. LSS gets children into the school system and gets adults into English classes. They also help refugees learn how to use the local transportation system. LSS distributes financial aid meant for the first 90 days. This is a very limited amount, so refugees are always eager to learn English and start working as soon as possible. Finally, LSS helps refugees with referrals for health services, employment counseling, job searching, and an orientation on the community and local culture. Even after a refugee is settled in, LSS keeps a relationship with them as they build their new life. The job search process can take a long time and LSS helps refugees improve their resumes, file applications, and keep finding jobs to look for. Many refugees come to America with a job history and specific skills, and it can be disappointing to not be able to use them. But they all want to work, and they make the best of their situation. LSS also assigns volunteer refugee mentors to many families to visit and help them learn English and to answer their many questions about life in America. The volunteers represent a refugee's initial connection to America and will be one of their first friends. Volunteers also help refugee families deal with the physical and logistical challenges of starting a new life, 
and provide the emotional support for such a big adjustment. If you're not a people person, LSS also has volunteers who help with driving or who work in the main offices. Getting a family on their feet, finding jobs for the adults, and getting the kids into school, and helping everyone learn English while they integrate into American life is a big job, but LSS has a track record of success thanks to its many supporters. The ultimate goal is self-sufficiency. That's the day everyone at LSS is waiting for. So give some thought to what you might be able to do to help this along, whether it's donating goods, hiring refugees, or volunteering your time. You can help make that day possible.